Today we are going to discuss about the emergence of slums in urban areas. The most important problem in all cities have been housing the sudden and large scale influx of migration from rural areas to urban areas, especially in the metropolitan towns, state capitals. Due to lack of housing in every city, almost 50% population live in slum. Slums known as Bastis, Malin Bastis in India, and the basic character of all the slums are poor structural quality and durability of housing, insufficient living area, more than three people sharing a room, lack of secure tenure, poor access to water and sanitation. So according to census data, we find that 1.37 crore households or 17.4% of the urban Indian household live in slum in 2011 census as per the 2011 census. The new data is difficult to compare with the previous year because the 2011 census covers all 4041 statutory towns in India as compared to 2001 when only statutory towns with population over 20,000 were covered. So the 2001 data had set India's slum population at 15% of the total population. So you will find that there is an increase of 2.4% in the number of the slum population living in urban areas. Over 77% are permanent and 70% are owned or not rented. Close to half are made up of just one room and most of the home to one married couple. Over 70% of the slum household get their water from a tap but just half get water inside their homes. Over 90% get electricity and must use LPG for cooking. 70% have a TV and 10% even a computer. The census data seems to indicate that the more cell phones than toilet line might be wrong for urban India. Two out of three slum households have a toilet within the premise, while slightly fewer have a mobile phones. More than one in five urban households in Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, West Bengal and Maharashtra live in a slum. In absolute terms, Maharashtra has highest number of the slum blocks of any state, over 21,000 out of the total just 1 lakh for the whole country. Over a third of the India's slum population live in its 46 million plus cities. Of the metros, Mumbai has highest population living in slum, 41.3% of the population. Kolkata is next as nearly 30% with Chennai not far behind. Delhi has 14.6% of its household living in slum, while Bangalore is the best of, of 5 metros with less than 10% population living in slum. Among all million plus cities, Visakhapatnam has the highest proportion of the slum, 44.1% of the household. However, census authority we are treating with skepticism unexplained spot in the slum population across cities in Andhra Pradesh. So there are various reasons for creation of the slums. Increased urbanization leading to pressure on the available land and infrastructure, especially for the poor. Natural increase in the population of urban poor and migration from rural areas and small towns to larger cities, which most of them get absorbed in the slum areas. Inappropriate system of urban planning, which does not provide adequate space for urban poor in the city master plan. Skyrocketing land prices due to increasing demand for land and constant and supply of land. 
एबसेंस ऑफ प्रोग्राम्स ऑफ एफोर्डेबल हाउसिंग फॉर अर्बन पुअर इन मस्ट ऑफ द टाउन्स लैक ऑफ एवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ क्रेडिट फॉर लो इनकम हाउसिंग इंक्रीजिंग कॉस्ट ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड मैनी अदर Although land colonization and slums are a state subject, the central government has brought up some of the schemes for addressing the problem of slums. Jawaharlal Nehru National Urban Renewal Mission (JNNURM), which was launched on 3 December 2005, with the objective of augmenting infrastructure facilities in cities and towns along with provision of shelter and basic civic services to slum dwellers and urban poorers jnnurm aims at creating economically productive efficient equitable and progressive cities by a strategy of upgrading the social and economic infrastructure in cities provision of basic services to urban poor bsup is a component of the jnnurm and wide ranging urban sector reforms to strengthen municipal governance in accordance with 74th constitutional amendment act 1992 in interest subsidy a scheme for housing for the urban poor ishup has been conceived for providing interest subsidy on housing urban poor to make housing affordable and within the repaying capacity of economically weaker section the scheme encourages poor section to avail of loan facilities through commercial banks hadco for the purpose of construction of houses and avail 5% subsidy in interest payment for loans up to 1 lakh rajiv awas yojana ray has been launched in two 2009 for the sun dwellers in the urban poor this scheme would aim to provide support to shelter and basic civic and so social services for slum redevelopment and for creation of new affordable housing stock in cities state that are willing to assign property right to slum dwellers can avail this scheme The slum free city or state plan is envisaged to comprise of two parts. Part 1, strategy to redevelop existing slums and part 2, strategy for prevention of creation of slums. Delineating the development of affordable housing for urban poor and revision of the existing urban policy and programs for the prevention of mushrooming of slums. This plan would form the basis for providing assistance to the states after the scheme is approved. National Slum Development Program (NSDP) Night Shelters 2 Million Housing Scheme, Accelerated Urban Water Supply Program (AUWSP), and Low Cost Sanitation provide for wide range of services to the urban poor, including slum dwellers. They include identification of the urban poor formation of community groups involvement of ngos self help groups credit activity training for livelihood credit and subsidy for economic activity housing and sanitation environmental improvement community asset wage employment and con convergence of services valmiki ambedkar awas yojana is also a very good scheme W A M B A Y has been introduced in 2021 to provide a shelter or upgrading the existing shelter to BPL people in urban slums. 20% of the total allocation under the warm way is provided for sanitation and community toilets to be built for the urban poor and slum dwellers. So we have discussed some of the very important schemes. launched for the development of the slum many of the state urban local authorities they might have at localized level there might be some schemes and development program for the slum dwellers and urban poorers which we will discuss in some other other lecture thank you thank you for discussion